can I compare thee When no one ever, ever could come close Look around, but I can't see That is usually just how it goes Hey, what's up everyone? I hope everyone's keeping well uh, Let's uh, have a look and see what the beach is like It's a little bit windy I don't know if you guys want to see this. Oh. oh let's show Open you. up our doors to something more. Spun me round and you shook me. Got me tainted to the core. So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do. When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you. Close to you. For the love. Cool. Yeah, guys. Um, okay, so what I'm going to talk about today, I'm sure you guys know, uh, it's immigration stress. I just want to get somewhere where it's not so windy. Crap, it's windy here. I hope that's better. If not, you're probably not going to see this vlog. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the stress of immigration, guys, um, it's real. It's, it's, not a, it's not a joke. Many people think it's a, it's a breeze, it's a walk in a park, and it's not. It's difficult. Uh, leaving your whole life behind, selling everything that you have, uh, it's just, it's difficult. It's really, really hard. Wow, it's windy. Guys, note to yourself, get a microphone, because this is a no-no. <sighs> it's hard. Okay, behind the dune. Probably still shitty. Um, yeah, so guys, the, the immigration stress is, is real, it's, it's no joke, you know, selling, like I said, selling all your stuff, selling your house, selling your car, getting rid of all your furniture, all of that, because us, uh, myself and my wife Kaylee, we actually made the decision to basically leave without anything other than clothes. So we have each got three bags that we're taking with us and we're going to try and make that work. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we will make it work, but we're going to, we're going to try. We're really going to try. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be an interesting time for us. It's going to be a very, very interesting time for us. I'm sure you guys are getting bombarded by the sun there. But yeah, let's uh, let's take a walk. Yeah, so basically, we're leaving with just our, our clothes and a, and a few of our sentimental items. So not not much at all. And we're actually quite nervous about that. You know, starting a new life in a new country, you don't know where the shops are. You know, yeah, we've been to the UK before, but the, that part of the UK towards London side, we actually been there, Kaylee's never been there. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be an interesting, interesting time. Uh, we don't know where the shops are, we don't know where the furniture shops are, I don't know where the shop is to buy a kettle or buy like spoons or mugs or a bed. That's the important thing, we need a bed. And yeah, it's just, I was stressing myself out about it because well, I actually don't know why I'm stressing myself out about it because this is kind of what we plan on doing but it's difficult for us going into the unknown and I started following a, a channel on YouTube and I kind of binged watched all of them uh, it's a channel by the name of Yes Theory and Yes Theory the like, slogan is seek discomfort so that's exactly what we are doing we are seeking discomfort we are going somewhere where we've never been before to start a new life uh, just for the hell of it and uh, we'll see how it, how it goes and they, they actually motivated us to well motivated me I don't know about my wife but motivated me about starting a whole new life and making sure that the life that we are going to be starting is actually something that we Jeez, I'm getting dive bombed here by little uh, clovers or otherwise known as kivets. But I think their nest is uh, close by here. 
me uh, let me tread lightly let me tread lightly yeah so basically we are very scared to go into a new country with new things and everything but we're also excited and whoo but it's pumping with wind wow hey everyone okay so i found a a dune to sit on that's uh relatively sheltered from the wind uh yeah like i was saying uh we we're quite nervous to to move to london uh nervous but excited at the same time because like i said we don't know where to buy furniture we don't know anything we, i don't know how to treat a traffic circle uh, in that country you know there's like three lanes going into a traffic circle wow oh, how do you you don't know where, which lane to be in so uh it's going to be a, a new experience for me a new experience but it's good uh, since following the the yes theory on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and that sort of stuff on all the handles actually except Twitter. I don't do Twitter. Twitter's uh, yeah, not for me. <laughs> and yeah, so since since following Yes Theory, I've actually decided to do things that are not in my comfort zone. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give it a bash. We're gonna see how it works, and hopefully it it's. All goes well. If not, uh, you'll see me back here in South Africa being a, a beach bum because I love the beach and it's warm, warm-ish, should I say? Uh, yeah. So we just really, I'm really nervous about going there. I don't know about my wife, but my wife's pretty laid back, so nothing really phases her too much, which I really love about her. She's, she's like the calm to my storm. I'm the one that overthinks a lot of the life decisions and marriage and a new car and a house and a selling house and I, I'm always the one that, that overthinks it but I'm sure it'll go good I'm sure it will uh, blah, blah, blah. talking's hard I'm sure it will go good and yeah I just want to I'll give you guys a, like an update a little bit later on with what all we're packing we've been asked a lot of questions about what are we taking with us um, what, what sentimental items are we taking with us and that sort of stuff and I'll, I'll give you guys the the rundown closer to the time when everything's packed and I've got my visa and everything um, I went on I last week Wednesday it was the 20th yeah 20th I think it was the 20th somewhere around there but anyway you guys will probably be watching this like in August sometime but yeah, I went to go and do my biometrics, I handed in my passport, everything. I was in and out of the center, like the TLS visa center in literally 10 minutes. So it was such a pleasure. Uh, just like other things for the UK, that just went really, really smoothly. And now I'm on the long 15 to 30 day wait to get my work visa, my sponsored work visa. And if that comes through, then we got to, uh, 30 days to get out of South Africa which is the scary part which is for me the, the most nerve-wracking part because yeah we've already sold our house and all of that nonsense but like that's reality that's like D-Day like you have 30 days to get the hell out of Dodge and um, make it work get on a plane and jeet across the, the world and, and start a new life I suppose and hopefully one day have kids but we'll see how that goes no promises <laughs> um, yeah and it's it's been a very stressful time for me especially doing the whole visa thing and the savings and all of that nonsense and yeah it's just been a tough one very very tough and difficult and you, I find that I get very irritated very quickly at my wife uh, my wife also gets irritated and frustrated at me I think it's just tensions are high and you know we we normally piggyback off of each other with with good vibes and positive energy and that sort of stuff and the immigration side of it's been very negative our whole life's actually been pretty negative but especially the immigration it has been super difficult uh, yeah it's just a, it's a hell of a lot of stress on a marriage and on a relationship 
and I think the advice that I'd like to give everyone is just take it easy, take it slow, take a step back and assess the situation. You know, we've got other family members that are immigrating the same time as us, and we might even catch the same flight out if we're lucky. So, uh, my message is to them as well, um, Lee and Jade, you guys rock, you guys are awesome. Uh, yeah, just take it easy, take it slow, don't try and rush anything because 90% of the time if you try and rush something uh, you're going to make a, a balls up of it. It's, something's going to go wrong or pear shaped and then you're going to get frustrated at yourself which is it's not fair. Don't do that to yourself. You know there's already a lot of pressure on on you as uh, when, you, when you're immigrating there's already a lot of pressure on you. So just take it easy. Don't, don't stress it. Whatever's going to go wrong now is going to go wrong and there's nothing you can do about it other than when it goes wrong fix it don't try and and stress about something that hasn't gone wrong yet so many people worry about things that haven't even happened yet don't worry about it like just leave it and you'll be fine you, you'll be fine and when it goes wrong then you sort it out at that at that specific point in your life don't like provision for oh maybe you know tomorrow if things go pear-shaped um, Shit, what are we going to do, you know, uh, how, how are we going to do this? That's the wrong way to think. Personally, for as, as a person, that's the wrong way to think. I'm not saying for business. Business, it's a different story. You've got to assess that altogether. But I think there's a boat or a kayak out there. It's pretty cool. I think it's a kayak. I think it's got fish in. Yeah, definitely a kayak. Yeah, so you've got to assess that situation. As a, as a separate little piece of your life don't provision for what if what could go wrong here and then you sort of readjust your goals to meet a what if what if is not good I flip and hate that word what if you know what if this goes wrong no but what if we're driving and we get a flat tire but what if this what if that don't worry about it just you do you just focus on the good and if it does go pear shape, make a journey out of it. Like, who cares? It's about life is a journey. Just enjoy the journey. And take it slow. Take it slow. Take it steady. Be calm. Be relaxed. I should really learn from myself because half the time I'm never calm. I get so excited. I'm like, ah, I'm ready to take on the world. And then something goes wrong. I'm like, oh no, I flipped. Then I overthink things. Or oh, I talk really fast like this. And yeah, just take it easy. Take things slow, take it easy. Don't rush into anything. Make calculated decisions. Don't just go into something or do something just for the hell of it. That's no way to live. You're gonna waste your money, you're gonna waste your time. Uh, it's not fun. It's not fun wasting money. Everyone knows you can buy a GoPro like this with money that you waste. Yeah, and uh, I think my message should be going out to all of those people that are immigrating that are asking themselves why are we doing this the reason why you're doing it is obviously you've got your own pros and cons of why you're doing it but take it easy don't be hey there's another person on the beach that's pretty cool i literally see you. one two three four five five people on the beach out of the whole beach uh, yeah so just take it easy take it slow everyone's got their own pros and cons as to why they are leaving the country that they're leaving from and assess those situations on the positive side not on the negative side you can figure out the negatives when you're in that in, in your country that you're in at the moment and you'll only really know the negatives of that other country once you're there you know people are like oh you know that area is a dodgy area don't go to that place you know it's very dangerous there or it's very expensive to do this or that. And you never really know until you get there and you experience things for yourself. So try and get out there and experience it. Don't look at the negatives. Look at the negatives when it's on you. When it's like here yeah, and you're like, oh, the negatives in my face. Then deal with the negatives. Don't worry about anything else. It's, it's pointless stressing about things that you don't know yet. So yeah, uh, that's my message for today. I hope everyone is trying to keep sane in 
this time of boringness. There's only so many uh, Netflix movies that you can watch. Well, everyone, please, 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 if I can ask everyone that watches my video uh, just to, to subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the thumbs up button on my video. If you don't like my video, hit the thumbs down twice. That, that will, that'll show you. Um, <laughs> yeah, but if everyone can please just support my videos, uh, I know it's a big ask. The reason why I always ask people to, to like and subscribe and share is obviously for views. The, the more views you get, the more the YouTube algorithm works. And I need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours per year. So in one year, I need 4,000 watch hours, not watch minutes, watch hours, which is a heck of a lot. So my vlogs are probably going to be a little bit longer, but more personal, more on the personal side of things. A lot of people enjoy that. Uh, yeah, so just please like and subscribe. It's the it's the only way that, that my video can actually get out there to the rest of the world is, is by sharing it, by subscribing, by commenting, that sort of thing. You know, I'm, I'm big on the on the commenting and the replying to people that, that enjoy my vlogs. So please like, subscribe. Um, I'll make sure I, I put a, a card in the video somewhere up here. Where you guys can click and watch my first vlog. Uh, I think I've come a long way from then. It was only like four, four, four vlogs ago. So every day is getting better. Uh, I try and I'm trying to do it, the vlogging thing once a week, and upload a vlog once a week. Uh, but in between, I get some amazing nature shots. And it's probably going to be the same in the UK. I've got a lot of things planned uh, for the UK side. I'm very keen, keen to go on a camp, film a camping session, uh, film a hiking session, a lot more drone, aerial drone photography and, and videography. So let's just make it happen. Let's the more shares, the more likes, the more toys I can buy and uh, showcase to the world or showcase to you guys that, that watch it. Yeah, please like, share, subscribe. All right, everyone. Um, I'm gonna just do a short little little beach video for you guys just to, to enjoy. I know a lot of people enjoy the, the scenic beach vibes. So yeah, I'll take a little walk down the beach and uh, try and record the things that I see. Enjoy. So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you Alright guys, I was, uh, I was planning on doing a little drone footage but my drone only weighs 249 grams, so it's way too windy, guys. It's way too windy. The wind that's coming from Mozambique side is crazy at the moment. Woo wee! I'm sure you guys can hear it in the, micros uh, in the microphone. I was gonna say microscope. Where's my brain today, Wesley? Where's my brain? But yeah, guys, check it out. Check out the vibes, check out the vibes. It's great. Guys, what the hell? Let's put the drone up. If I crash it, I crash it. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna find somewhere to put my bag where we can uh, fly some drone. Let's get it up. Let's get down in the sky, boys. Okay, guys, I got the drone here out. There she is. Uh, we're gonna give this a bash and see how well it does in the wind. I don't know how I'm gonna land it though, because the wind's pretty strong, so good luck. If you don't see the footage, it's because I crashed it. Woo, guys, let me get over this dune so I can talk to you guys. Okay, so I had the drone up in the air. She was not happy. It was very difficult. Uh, just max power the whole time. Really struggling to, to fly. Sorry, getting a bit excited there. Uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's a 249 gram DJI Mavic Mini, and it's just too windy for it. It's it's crazy, crazy, crazy windy. There's a little bit of uh, white horses on the on the water. That's uh, the waves breaking from the wind. For those that don't know, uh, 
uh, yeah, it's it's getting a bit rough. It's getting a bit rough out here. So I think I'm gonna gonna pack it up. Might take a walk down to the rocks just now, just to go and see how it looks on a windy day. But uh, yeah, the drone footage will will be coming up uh, now. compare thee when no one ever ever could come close look around but i can't see that is usually just how it goes brought a new horizon opened up our doors to something more spun me round and you shook me got me tainted to the core so tell me 